It seems like everybody wants to move into the house that Sonos built. LG and Samsung recently announced their own uh, wireless multi-room audio systems, and now Denon has joined in. The difference with Denon, though, is that it's been doing high-end audio for decades. So we expect these to sound excellent, and they should because they cost a little bit more than their Sonos counterparts. We start at 300 and top out at 600. So how do they do? This is the Heos 3. It's the smallest of the bunch, and so it's made to be a little bit more versatile. You can put it in a vertical or horizontal orientation. There's not a lot to see on the speaker, very few buttons. That's because you're gonna control everything with the Denon app that we'll talk about in just a moment. You'd be surprised at just how much sound this can pump out. It actually gets respectively deep in the bass. But as you go up in the line, say the Heos 5 here, which comes with a little handle on the back, you can pick it up, tote it around. It's meant to be portable, but there's no battery, so you're always gonna need an outlet. Then you top out with the Heo 7 here, which has a nice little trim piece on the top. This is designed to offer more bass and a higher max output. It also has a little bit better stereo separation. Like all of these wireless speaker systems, the real magic happens with the app. That's where all the control, and in this case, the setup happens. You actually have to plug into the headphone jack of your mobile device to get them set up. And from there, the app kind of controls everything. Definitely takes a little getting used to, but what's interesting is, although it seems to support Spotify and TuneIn and a few other streaming radio stations, once you press the app button, it just opens the app on your phone. It's not like it's truly integrated. On the other hand, grouping speakers so that they all play the same thing is a drag and drop affair. As for sound quality, we find the speakers do benefit from some break-in time. Uh, they do offer fairly solid bass for their size, and uh, we really like the treble coming out of these things. It's dry, it's clean, and it doesn't have any undue harshness or sibilance. Is it better than Sonos? Well, that's gonna be down to your individual opinion, but we do feel that Denon's done a solid job at designing a wireless speaker system.